One more thing. Probably should... Oh! Damn! So we're probably gonna have to underclock the particle accelerators again. In the meantime, what I want to do is just take all of this stuff, and all of this, and all of this, and I'm just gonna put it into the awesome shop, or awesome sink. I can't add it directly into the awesome sink, so that's what this container is for. Just put you in here, here, here. And this will give me plenty of points. And how many do I have right now? 24 coupons. Might as well just take it now. And I might as well just buy stuff from the awesome shop. Like, we do need to feed the thing with some uh, computers and heavy modular frames. Oh, our computer production is fine. But the heavy modular frames, well, probably can buy some more of those. But can we? Okay, this is empty. So what I can do is, can I buy stuff here? Okay, so heavy modular frames. It, well, actually, this is expensive. We'll do two of these. Now, what else do I need? Computers. Now, we have plenty of supercomputers. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this for now. Oh, wait. How much were... Was it? Because I got four stacks from that. Now, I need to check this again. Six, twelve, eight. Wait, I thought I only bought two. Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell are you doing to me, game? Well, anyway, what I want to do... Since I'm down here, I might as well just fill this up, just so we can get a little bit of extra power going. I don't really have a purpose for this biofuel anymore, so I might as well just use it here. Take advantage of that power generation. Hard to believe I'm still using these things, but... One of your power storage supplies is draining. Oh no. Gotta keep this going. At the very least, we still have a little bit of power left. If it goes down to like 40%, then I'll underclock the things there, the particle accelerators. Oh wait, this lag was the autosave. Didn't realize that. It really does get laggy once you have all of these machines. Wait, I didn't upgrade this? Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's upgrade this. There you go. There you go. Have fun. Okay, so I don't need the rest of this biomass anymore. I'll take up one stack for myself. Now, since I'm already here, why don't I just check on the production of these things? Well, I can't really overclock these things. It, isn't this, like, the first one I made? Like, the first project assembly part that I automated? It, it's still not done. It's mainly because of my decision to only use, like, three 
of these manufacturers for the adaptive control units. Like, it really slowed down the progress here, but I didn't realize I needed this. I didn't realize I needed a lot of these things. So, that's pretty much why it's like that. Anyway. Let's go and get some more computers. We are getting a lot more of these wires. So you know what, I'm just gonna get... Like the wires from here. And then I'll just keep moving back and forth, feeding this stuff. Okay, so the automated wiring goes here. And modular frames, heavy modular frames goes here. Okay, this is all backed up. And then the computers goes here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need a lot more automated wiring. So let's overclock that just a little bit more. Unfortunately, I can't simply buy more automated wiring since it's technically a project assembly part. You can't really buy those. All I can do is make sure that the production is good. Actually, I'm short one power shard here. And considering I am low on power, my batteries are being drained. Probably not a good idea to do this. Maybe I can like get some more power shards somewhere else. Need to figure out where though. And it looks like the cables are draining now. Oh well. Just do that. And then... Okay, so that's still going. I could probably afford to overclock these, but I would need more power shards, so I need to figure out where I can get some. Wait, I just realized. Okay, all of these screws are now backed up. Maybe I can take off power shards from this place? We don't need that many screws anymore. Yeah, let's repurpose these things. And then I'll take the power shards off of here. How's this doing? I didn't overclock these. Okay. So let's overclock the cables again. If I can find it. Okay, so we should be getting enough rubber in here. And I think this is pretty much all I'm going to be doing for the rest of the game. It's just pretty much overclocking and underclocking stuff. We're down to 60%. Do I really need this overclocked? Like, wait a minute, where's my reinforced iron plates? 
Yeah, at this point, I don't think I need to overclock this. Because we're low on resources anyway. Shouldn't be needing that many anymore. And this will also ensure that less cables are being used here and more of it is going down to our automated wiring. All right, let's go down. How's this doing? Let's go back down here. Now let's keep this area fully stocked with wires. Wonder if I can f like fit some wiring in here somehow. Like if I were to transfer wires. Yeah, like if I were to put a storage here for wires. Valid shape, huh? I'll show you in valid shape. There we go. So if I put like wires in here. Or not wires, the cables. Yeah, let's go down. Go over to our stock uh, storage. For wires. And I just realized I haven't really been doing anything with this area, have I? Like this has been Wait, I have a power shard in here. Damn. Yeah, I haven't really been doing anything with this. It's all just been going like somewhere over there. Probably could have used that additional iron production for other stuff I mean, whatever so what I'm gonna do just get a whole bunch of wires from here or cables I should say yeah we don't need that many cables and I guess I'll top off my wires here and this is all moving very slowly but that's okay Probably faster if I go through the hyper tubes. And then we're gonna go to the third floor. And then deposit all of our cables in there. This way, this is completely saturated. It's going to back up this line over here and then force some of these cables to go in here instead. It's great. And I'll just keep going. Alright, let's go back up here. Yeah, we're getting a lot more cables now, but probably should like feed the other thing over there. And if I take the automated wirings out from there, it's probably gonna just end up reducing our production, but whatever. Hey, keep this going. Put the automated wiring in here. And then we'll grab these things. We have 30 of them. So that's another 15 of these things going in there. Yeah, 
units, so just keep this going. And I really should have made six manufacturers for this right from the start. Probably should have built it somewhere else where there's room. I think this game would probably, this playthrough would have ended a lot faster if I just did that, you know? But that's okay. 2671. Damn. Okay, nuclear pasta is almost done. Feel like I should just expand like the automated wiring production a little bit more. Like get some additional cables out. Like make some kind of production area somewhere else on the map. And come to think of it, if we can somehow make cables like over here, we might be able to do that. And we already have like a network going over there anyway. But at the same time, you know what? Let's keep it like this for the time being. Like we still have 53%. What I'm gonna do, let's go over here. Gonna go over to our second oil production. Th Damn you! Get, get out of there. This pipe. Yeah, these hypertubes will take me to the second oil production area. And maybe I can figure out a way to add additional, like... I don't know, let's put... Actually, we still need the stators, right? So maybe we can make some cable production over here. Probably should check this now. Come on, cable. How many recipes do I have? Okay, so it's just this recipe. So I need the rubber and the copper. So all of the rubber is being transferred out. You know what, I should probably switch this back to like rubber production. Like four of these, maybe. So we can get some more rubber out. Except there's rubber being used here. I already forget what it's being used for. Oh, it's for the reinforced iron plates for the modular frames. So we have all of this stuff now. All right, so... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Okay, I would need to have like battery production over here because if I make cables here and then send the cables over there to the stator production area, You know, I really don't know. Unless I can somehow fit... Uh... Actually, I really don't know. Where else am I making cables? <laughs> like, I'm already forgetting this. Or, you know what? We have lots of copper over here. A lot of copper being produced into copper powder. What if we did that there? Or, you know what? No, we're not. We don't have rubber over there. What if we made. You know what? I really don't feel like doing anything. Like, anything complicated anymore. If it's, like, easy to do, then maybe I'll do it. 
But this stuff over here, it's like... You know what? I don't feel like doing this. And... This is not even connected to this line. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go home. Let's just go back. Here's the entire map here. Uh... Like, I really don't feel like doing anything else other than maybe changing some of this over. Yeah, let's just turn these off for the time being. And then we'll switch them over to rubber. The merger goes this way. Okay, switch them to rubber production. Turn this back on and then connect these this way. It's kind of weird how this doesn't connect to the mergers, but the other two are. Not a very consistent game, are ya? Well, we'll just put that there. You know what, might as well just put all the rubber in here. Yeah, we have a lot of plastic. Too much, in fact. Okay, I think we're done here. Again, I really don't feel like building anything else that's like complicated that's pretty much how tired i am of this game at this point you know i just want to finish it Okay, maybe at this point, maybe I, I should just ride that stingray because I still haven't done that. All right, here comes another auto save. You know what? I did pretty, do a pretty good job of like exploring the map and just like building all of this infrastructure. I mean, you could probably find other people on YouTube and they would have these gigantic factories spanning from one side of the map to the next. So probably better factories than this. Better looking factories as well, but mine is functional. Guess the job done except for the adaptive control unit, which uh, really suck. All right, let's go and check this out now. Okay, this is still being emptied. And you know what? I do have lots of cables in here, in fact. I should probably disconnect this and just use that cable storage there. Yeah, why don't I just put a merger like right here? And then have an industrial storage like right here. Oh, 
Oh, probably should check the power as well. It's down to 46%. That's okay. We're still good on power. I'm just gonna transfer all of these cables over here. Maybe a few more stacks in here. And then we'll put some of this over here. One of your power storage supplies is draining. Uh, that's okay. So that should supplement that area with lots and lots of cables. And then this will just get a little bit backed up, I think. Yeah, I think that's okay though. And there's all of our automated wiring. Okay, as soon as this is done... Well, let's check this out first. Oh, we got lots... Nicely packed in here. Okay, this is done. We'll just take from here and then transfer it over to our... Area, makeshift area over there. Still a lot of circuit boards. Not necessarily computers. I guess we still have a decent amount of computers though. Oh yeah, I can't forget. Gotta get the other adaptive control units in here. Oh, 18. This isn't actually doing very much, is it? Alright, let's put this in here. We just don't have that much automated wiring being produced. But let's check this out. We're just gonna fly right through you. So I'm thinking, let's go to 75%. See what that does for a power consumption. 